Okay, welcome to the uh, minor allied turn. Uh, the Aussies are the only ones with any money, uh, so they will be commissioning a new um, destroyer uh, out of New Zealand, and they will save their remaining two IPCs for next turn. Uh, they are actually making an attack this round, and they will be declaring war on the Japanese to do so. Uh, they're going to take two infantry from Queensland, load up onto a boat, and take the Carolines uh, for a dollar. So I'll come back in a second with the non-combat move. Okay, non-combat move over here is just to take this fighter and uh, put it onto the aircraft carrier. So that's pretty straightforward there. Uh, we're then going to move the um, three Aussie units, the two French uh, units and the French uh, anti-aircraft from um, Shan State to Burma. We are going to move the combined French-Dutch naval contingent from C-Zone 80 to C-Zone 39. Um, over here in Africa, we're going to move this destroyer into C-Zone 98 and this destroyer from C-Zone 92 into C-Zone 96. Um, I believe that's actually all of the non-combat movements. So once we tidy this up, we'll come back in a sec. Okay, so in terms of placement of new units, the new destroyer is going into C-Zone 63 in the New Zealand factory. Um, and in terms of income adjustments, basically Japan's going to go down one and the Aussies are going to go up one. Oh, so this guy's dead because that was an auto kill. Uh, so the Aussies are going to collect 11 IPCs. They saved two, so they will have 13 IPCs to spend at the beginning of the next round. So we're on to round five. Uh, Germany, Minor Axis, and Finland is going to go next. But first, uh, we will do the spy rolls for turn five.